And it seems like Opera made it its goal to offer a deep level of customization. If you're used to the same old browsers, you know how they feel. Static tabs, toolbars, extensions, and that rigid text-based interface. When someone says the word browser, you instantly picture a window with tabs and an address bar. But that visual depiction of a browser might be about to change for good. Remember how back in the day, depending on how old you are, there were phones like the Nokia 3310. When someone said cell phone, people imagined that small, bulky, indestructible piece of equipment. But today, when you hear the word phone, you naturally think of a smartphone capable of taking photos, recording videos, and streaming movies. That same kind of transition is now happening in the world of browsers, and Opera seems to be one of the front runners in this race. In this video, I'll be reviewing Opera, a new gen browser that's built differently, more efficient, cleaner, and far more functional. You don't need extensions or even add-ons. Of course, you can add them those, but you don't need them. You don't have to use any of that since everything is already built in. Just pure browsing superpowers, one click away. And afterwards, let's put this new browser to the test. Let's review Opera. Let's dive. Deep. Let's start with a quick look at the design. This browser looks different. Everything you need from your tools to tabs is right where you can reach it. On one side, you've got quick access to the VPN, ad blocker, split screen, and tab islands. And right below, a fully customizable sidebar with your favorite apps, music players, and messengers, all living right inside the browser. Everything feels visual, interactive, and beautifully minimalistic. You can switch to dynamic themes that literally change how your browser feels. I'm going to set this carnival theme. Absolutely love the mysterious vibes. The keyboard sounds are all activated. Do you hear me typing? Just take a listen. That's insane. Wow, that's quite a vibe small details that make browsing strangely satisfying themes are fully customizable and take a look at this home screen this is the so-called speed dial it can be fully personalized with your favorite pages and is designed for regular use it's literally a speed dial if you know what i mean this section keeps your everyday projects websites and docs all in one place and it seems like opera made it its goal to offer a deep level of customization where your online world actually reflects your routine. It's not a bunch of preset icons you never touch. It's only one thing you need right in front of you. There was a pioneering German-American architect, Rohe, who once famously said, less is more. And that kind of approach seems to work well in most cases. Opera is one example. We all know the struggle. Multiple tabs open, everything's lost in chaos, and then the whole thing crashes. Unless you're extremely organized with how you manage your browser tabs, you'll probably face this common issue sooner or later, simply because traditional browsers have structural imperfections. To address and fix this pain point, Opera introduced tab islands. Here is how they work. You can simply drag or hover one tab over another and just like that you've created an island. You can group your research tabs together, keep your everyday essentials like email and calendar in one neat corner or collapse entire topic clusters to focus only on what matters. Tab islands are also automatically created when you open a link from the page you're on. Here take a look at this. I've got one island for work another for entertainment and education and another for shopping now if i click once boom all those tabs expand within the island click again and they fold neatly out of sight perfect no more tab anxiety just streamlined multitasking 
Opera split screen is another hidden gem. Look, I can just grab a tab, drag it down and choose which side I want it on. Now I've got two pages visible at once. If I think about how this could be used, I believe it's perfect for studying or cross-checking data. You could also use it for streaming while chatting or fact-checking while writing. Let me actually try to do something. I'm going to take notes on one side and I will open an article about sharks on the other side. Now I'm taking notes and preparing my digest. With this setup, I don't lose focus switching between windows. It's a single workspace built for multitasking humans. Perfect. I'm done with my summary and I'll just click the three dots on the divider to exit. It's super simple. I like how it saves time and mental energy. The term efficient fits this feature perfectly. Now, this next feature is a lifesaver. Ad blocker. With Opera, you can block all ads with a single click. The ad block icon is easily accessible and lets you block ads without digging through settings menus. They disappear before they even load. Take a look. With the ad blocker disabled, you can see a header banner displaying, but once it's enabled, the ads are gone. Pages load faster, run smoother, and you're not wasting data on unwanted banners. It's built in completely free and works straight out of the box. With this utility, you get a cleaner, distraction-free browsing experience. This one is my favorite. I believe the internet should be accessible from every corner of the world, accessible and safe, and Opera seems to follow that same motto as well. If I click on this tiny icon here, the VPN activates and my browsing instantly runs through an encrypted connection. No extensions, no setups, no extra apps, super easy. My data stays private, my location is masked, and Opera doesn't log any activity. I like that it's free, secure, and especially ideal when you're on public Wi-Fi or working remotely. And if you want more control or multi-device coverage, there is also a VPN Pro plan. Same simplicity, just extra strength for power users. Finally, let's talk about the fun part. Opera sidebar integrations. I can listen to Spotify here or switch to Apple Music without even leaving my workflow. If I want, I can even pop the player out in a floating module, move it around the screen and control my music while I browse or edit. And look at this, right below, messenger icons, WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, and even Slack. My whole digital life in one side panel. It's multitasking done right. Fewer apps, fewer distractions, same energy. All right, here's what I think about Opera browser. Outside the fact that it's a cool and stylish browser, it's also extremely innovative, a fresh way to experience the web. It is a private, organized, and beautifully modern workspace that helps you focus, create, and relax all at once. Everything accessible within one click, everything is customizable, and everything here helps you spend less time switching between apps and more time actually doing things. If you've never tried Opera, give it a spin. It is fast and ready to shape itself around your life. Find all the links in the description. Huge thanks to Opera for sponsoring this video and for building a browser that actually makes the internet feel new again. I'm done for now and I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV out.